Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use the hand sync feature in Explendia 3.0. Okay, so before I proceed with the tutorial, let me first show you what this new feature is. It's a new feature introduced in version 3.032, and this is what it does. In the earlier versions of Explendio, if you had several images on the canvas and had them set to sketch by hand, you would notice that the hand would sketch one image like so, and then go off the canvas, and then come back and sketch the next image, and so on and so forth. With the new hand sync feature enabled, you can now have the hand on the canvas while sketching all the images. As you can see in this example, the hand remains on the canvas while sketching, and this feature can be very useful. Here's another example if you wanted multiple lines of text sketched in the same way, like so. You would have to put all the three lines of text in the same text box, and this would mean that you would not be able to have multiple colors of text like you have here. But now, as you can see, all these three lines of text are three separate text boxes. Okay, so now let me show you how to use it. First, make sure you've downloaded the new version 3.032. So here I have a blank canvas. Let me first add a sketch image. I'll add another three sketch images. So now let me open the timeline. And let me just move the scene right up front. So first you will notice these rectangles with an S for each of these elements on the canvas. So this is essentially the hand sync feature. As you can see, they are gray in color. Also see that these bars for each of the elements on the canvas right here, you will notice that they are all placed at the start on the timeline. To activate the hand sync feature, just click on the S button for the corresponding element, like so, and you will notice it turned red in color. You would have also noticed that the element bar automatically moved from here to here. Now watch it again as I activate the hand sync feature for the other two elements. As you can see, they are all automatically placed now in the step or sequence format. Now let me just close the canvas and we'll do a quick preview. You will notice that it sketches all the elements one by one in the order you place them on the timeline and it will do this while the hand remains on the canvas. Also if you go to the slide tab right here you will notice that there is the Sync with Previous Slide button. To disable the Hand Sync feature on a particular element, just click back on the respective Sync button, like so. But you will notice that the gray bars, they all remain in the same position on the timeline. So now if I do a quick preview, you will notice that the hand sketch is not continuous. You will see the hand sketches one image and comes off the canvas. But anyway, these are the basics of how the hand sync feature works. Have you watched these short videos on Explain Your Tips? What? You haven't yet? Go watch them. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know if you've got any questions. And thanks for watching. Cheers.